Hi everyone, I want to make a quick outline of Become a Leader Worth Following. So what is Become a Leader Worth Following about? Really, we have all these different ideas of leadership, all these key points. I've been through multiple branches of the service where I've sat through leadership courses, squadron officer school, all these ideals. Most of them are 30,000 foot views of the, these great ideals of how you can lead people. But Become a Leader Worth Following is what people really want is just a mentor. They want somebody who is worthwhile giving their time to, dedicating themselves to, to learn their career path, which should be their passion and their desire. So become a leader worth following. It covers everybody from your C-level executive to the person just getting started because everybody's going to take that journey up. And what I do is I start with a great story about positive mental attitude. I do my plane crash story, which everybody likes. It's a lot of fun. Over an hour and a half into it, he finally regains consciousness. David, David, you forgot my shoe. <laughs> actually got him out of the airplane. My ribs were puncturing through my lungs. So how do you train for something like this? Positive mental attitude. On stage, obviously I leave a big impression. And then I, I, I show them living proof of how a positive mental attitude is the only reason I'm standing in front, in front of them. And my, my favorite review that I've ever gotten was from Progressive because they said that Dave is real and, and that's who I am. It's just like, look, I'm just a real guy. I'm just a regular person, just like you and I. And I have this four step process of overcoming. I touch on that, but I don't focus on that. So he's standing there and they're like looking at me and it's like real awkward. I'm like this in the bed, right? <laughs> I don't know, man. How's my face look? <laughs> I want to be the best looking pizza boy in the town. You have to make yourself so strong that you can take yourself and overcome anything anybody puts in your way. Every one of you have a plane crash. Every one of you have a story like that. Then I move on to self-awareness because there's two different things here. A lot of people see themselves in one light, but really other people see us in a different light. So it, it's taking that and it's taking that balance and I do a little exercise that helps them. And it's a personal exercise that people can just take with them. It doesn't embarrass anyone, but it helps show them maybe how others perceive them or what qualities or traits that they thought that somebody had that were negative but were actually a positive because sometimes the people that help us the most are the ones that we don't even realize that we're helping us the most. So from there, then I go down to leaders versus bosses and I try to help you encompass other people's passions because look, you're with this corporation, you're with this company and you know you, you set the goal, you're trying to get everybody head in the same direction but people are individuals and these people have dreams and they have, they have this passion that burns inside of them. So if you can encompass that for whatever reason, whether they weren't good enough at it, they didn't have enough money, but they have these things that they like that burn inside of them. And if you can encompass that in their job description, if you can take a little bit of that and, and filter it in there, hence building the job description around the person, that's how you're gonna get 110% and that's how you're gonna build great teams. And I want to show you how from the team member on the bottom, and I do, I, I do a great bit about leading from behind, and I have some, some leadership experiences, operational leadership experiences, where it was the people that were in the back, while I was holding the title of the boss or the aircraft commander or the person in charge, it was the people over here, the crew members that were actually saving the day, and they did that because of the type of environment that I, that I had created for them. So become a leader worth following. I love the program. Um, I'd love to come and be in front of your audience.